Vlog. Yes. Oh yeah. It is me, Dark Boo. Yes, I had done kidnapped Spider Star here. I done kidnapped my goddamn. Yes, indeed. But nevertheless, welcome to Juicy Toolsers. Yes, Toolsers. With your host, Dark Boo. Yes, I know y'all like what the hell, right? Oh, uh, please. All right. We gonna expound what to do here. Yes. So I'm saying this won't be my first time, so don't be mocking me now. Welcome to Juicy Tuesdays with me. Yes. I'm gonna give y'all a sample of the true tea. I'm gonna give y'all three inductive questions. Yes. It's gonna make you lose out that brain. I'm gonna give you a little three questions. Go ahead and sit there and type out a thesis to get the progress rolling. And then don't forget, I have that hot question. That hot question. Yes. You touch it, you might, bu you might burn yourself. You need oven mitts. You need them oven mitts. Oh, please. We don't understand how to do this. Yes. So let me get into the tea. I'm going to give y'all these three questions. Get to the tea. Get your, get your pens ready and pencils or everything. Get ready to write a strict scripture, type of scripture, or whatever. However, you are going to put it on pink paper for somebody to see. Yes, me. Understand? So let me jump all up into it. Let me flip the page. Let me flip the page. Okay. Hold on, I'm right here, yes, okay. Okay, we done did, we did the po the podcast, but this week is going to be about the 10 of 64, since it's 64 podcast. So I thought I might as well bring me some questions for, the, for um, what chapter is this? 164, yes. Oh, well, this is chapter 164, the 10 of 64 series. So I thought I may open the book to that chapter, and it has this, um, it had essential questions, so I'm going to read the essential questions, essential questions, yes, I'm going to read them. Question number one, pay attention now. Question one, what is your favorite Nintendo 64 game? As in, just tell me what game that when you play, you like, yes, it gives you what you need. It serves you what you've been waiting for. You ask for a prime rib, it gives you a prime rib. It's serving you what, what you want. So tell me, what is your favorite Nintendo 64 game? Question number two, yes it is, right here, question two. How do you feel when you play that game? Do you feel excited? Do you feel stoic, mad, angry, yelling, ranting, that dark boo moment, as we call it? How does that game make you feel? Does it make you feel good? Or does it make you yell for the gods? So mind you, how does that game make you feel? Does it tell me how, how it make you feel? Does it make you feel happy or bring back memories of past time? Get it together, yes. We're gonna have, we're gonna have the Lord break that down. Yes, indeed. So tell me, how does it, how does it make you feel? And then, if you can explain, tell me why too. Yes, I would love to see why. And last but not least, question number three: How do you hold the Nintendo 64 controller? Come on, you. We hold the controller different styles. As in, you know, it has three little um long things. Don't mark me now, long things. So you see, let me tell you how I hold it. I hold it. My left hand is like where the control pad is. My right hand is with the feet. Where the C buttons are, so I might use my left thumb be using the control stick. I don't hold it where I have my right left hand in the middle and the right hand on the right side. I don't hold it like that. But tell me, how do y'all hold it? For me, it depends on games. Like if I'm playing Perfect Dark, I use the C buttons to move and Turok. So that's how I will use the controller with the middle with the middle rod being untouched. And also, and yes, yeah, tell me how how you do that because it, it, people have some weird hairstyles and stuff. Two play, two hips, two player, one control. Not let me move on because some people gonna be like, "Excuse hey, me, two and one." Uh, don't try it. Now let me get to the hot question. The hot. Uh, get ready. It's the hot question. Oh, where my oven mitts? Where my oven mitts at? Yes, yes. Thank you, honey. Yes, yes. Two tea. Two tea. Pour me a cup of two tea. Oh, you add it. Yeah, just pour me a cup of two tea. Mm-hmm. Let me get my oven mitts. Oh, this hot. Uh, let me flip these page. Oh, oh, you see that sizzling? Let me flip to the page. Oh yeah. Oh, well, this is a good question. This is a good question. We going. We going clock tea. Okay. The hot question. Pay attention now. I'm gonna say this once and then explain. As you know, each generation of children they grew up with a game system. As you know. As in, like, for some people in the 90s and stuff, it was the PlayStation, the Nintendo 64, Dreamcast, etc, etc. So, mind you, my question is this. It's a two-part question now. Do you think that the generation that grew up with 
a system as in a base system as in that system was popping during them years do you think that they prefer they will prefer that system over something uh, over another system based on their feelings towards it instead of compatibility and graphics and all the little date or um, statistical analysis that we have and what I'm trying to say is that do you think that one person will prefer this system because they play it a lot compared to another system? Or will you think they'll break the uh, clock to where it needs to be clock and give them the flaws and stuff? That's what I mean by that question. Will you think they'll give them the flaws and stuff? Or will you think they become biased and use personal feelings as in as um, data, as in proof? They will use personal experiences. I call it bias because it is bias. So tell me how you feel. Do you think that they will say, oh, play this system because when I used to play or would they be like, play this system because based on this data and stuff, these the games that come out, etc., etc." So tell me how you feel about that hot question, yes. And also, give a little shout out for Star Star here because he's not here. I done kidnapped him, like I said. I done kidnapped him and put him in a dungeon for a day. True tea. I'm, sorry, I'm serving him some true tea and some juice. Yes, indeed. So, I hope y'all enjoyed this. This is my first time doing it. I had to break down questions now. Because questions are kind of complex. And some people are like, uh. Because my questions aren't easy now. I use some big words over here. So, I hope y'all enjoyed the Juicy Turns, though. And don't forget, tomorrow, we have Legacy Wednesdays. And we ain't gonna tell you who been kidnapped too. It's a lot of juice coming around here. Somebody been kidnapped here. I ain't gonna tell y'all who though. But yes, don't forget tomorrow, Legacy Wednesday, hop into it. Get into it and get ready. Get ready for a review. I hope y'all enjoyed this Juicy Tuesday and this Dark Blue. And I'm out. Au revoir. Yes.